Ladies and gents, welcome to today's video. I'm going to show you how to get an old version of Clash of Clans not only on the iPad, but running, and it actually works. So, this is an iPad 2nd gen. This is iOS 6.1.3, and there's nothing on it, as you can see. So, I'm going to walk you through how to get Clash of Clans on this iPad. First, we're going to jailbreak it. And then we're going to sideload the IPA app. And it might sound intimidating, but it's really not. You're going to need a 30 pin and you're going to need Mac OS and Windows 10. Mac OS is going to be for the jailbreak. So if you can jailbreak on Windows, then go right ahead and do that. I'm just not sure how that's done. I know how to do it on a Mac, but not a Windows. So we'll put the iPad over here. And we're going to begin on Mac OS. This is a 2016 MacBook Pro 15 inch running the latest version of Mac OS Monterey. So first, you're going to navigate to the Legacy Jailbreak Reddit page. From here, you're going to click this link. You will scroll down. And you're going to click the Legacy Archives. Now you're going to go to jailbreaks, you'll double click that, and then you're going to want to find one that says Pwn6 Poison. This one right here. Double click, then you'll click Mac OS, and you want this top one, Pwn6 Poison 6.1.6 test.zip. Double click that, and it's going to prepare the download here. Once that finishes, it'll download up here if you're in Safari. Great. Now we have this on our desktop. Double click to open. It's going to extract that to a folder. Double click the folder. Okay, once you open that, you're going to click this and it's going to say can't open it. You're going to right click on it and then click open. And then you'll click open again. Now, you're going to have to do this a bunch of times because there are all of these tools that need to be trusted inside of System Preferences. So once you're in the Security and Privacy tab, you're going to click Allow Anyway. And then you're going to go back here, exit out, open this again, and click Open. And it's going to say this again. You're going to repeat this process for as many times as it takes for this to not happen. All right, now this is the screen you want. So it's going to open this little window here. And you can see I have my iPad plugged in and it recognizes it. iPad 2, CDMA, iOS 6.1.3. Now all you're going to do is click jailbreak and you're going to let it do its thing. It's going to take a while. Once it finishes, you should see Cydia on the home screen of your iPad. All right, the iPad has finished and you will see Cydia on the home screen. So you'll go ahead and let this load. And while that's loading, we're going to go ahead and boot into Windows, specifically Windows 10. All right, now we are in Windows and we are not going to play Steam, but we do need two tools. The first is one called App Manager and the next is our IPA. In this case, it's Clash of Clans version 7.65. This is just the second time I've downloaded, that's why there's a two there. App Manager, um, I think I'm gonna leave a link in the description either for the file itself or for the YouTube video that has the file linked in the description. That's where you'll get App Manager. And the Clash of Clans game file is from the Discord channel that is called Old Clash as a download file. This is the iOS 5 through iOS 9 IPA. So, back on the iPad, we're going to do Cydia, click User, click Done. Then we're going to 
to click complete upgrade and you're going to confirm and let all of those download. Once we're on Cydia, we need to add a new source. And I will add that on the screen so you guys can type it. But it's Cydia.akemi.ai slash. And once that's finished, you're gonna click it and it is this Karen repo. Click all packages and you want AppSync Unified. We're gonna install that. All right, now the iPad is ready. So we'll plug it in to our Windows 10 computer and set it over to the side. Now, on the computer, you're gonna have App Manager here. We're gonna open that and you're gonna want the App Manager application, the eight kilobytes one. You're going to open it and click Extract All. And you you want this selected. You select Show Extracted Files, click Extract. And now the new folder that pops up should have an 18 kilobyte application for App Manager. Open that. this comes up, click more info, click run anyway. All right, we are ready to go. This is what your window should look like. Now with the iPad connected to the computer, you're going to click install new and then find the Clash of Clans version 7.65 file on your desktop. Then click open. And it should show you some steps here. And eventually you will see Clash of Clans on the home screen of the iPad. Just like that, there it is. And to our pleasant surprise, it is loading. Now we're finished with the computer, we can disconnect, and we're ready to go. And there you have it, Clash of Clans. This is the old style with uh, yeah, the different menus and options and everything. You even have the global chat, which I don't think is working anymore. But let's try to train some troops and see if we can find a battle. After I build my army camp, and train some barbarians. Well, I guess we're missing the elixir for those. You gotta build an elixir collector before you can get elixir. It's not quite as easy as the new one. They kind of spoon feed you through it. In this one, you kind of struggle a little bit. All right, there we go, there's our barbarian. Let's take him into battle. Look at that, we found a match. But I don't see my Barbarian there. Well, it looks like my army camp is gone. So maybe this version is not working as it should be. But that'll be up to you guys to figure out and mess around with it. If you make it this far and you have some problems or you don't make it this far and you have some problems, leave me a comment down below and I'll do my best to help you out. I hope you found this video helpful. Again, Clash of Clans on an iPad 2nd Gen running iOS 6.1.3.
As always, thanks for watching, and I hope to see you in another video.